back to my channel my name is Tori if you're new here and today we are doing a day in the life so I just showed you my coffee and how I got ready and I just wanted to jump on here and let you know why we're doing this so I know day in the lifes aren't always everyone's cup of tea I generally stick to recipes and sometimes DIYs but I've been getting a lot of requests to do a lot of different tutorials from all across the board so I just wanted to put it all in one video so I'm just going to show you different things throughout my day and yeah, I hope you like this style of video. I love doing day in the lives because you can cover a lot of information all in one video. But if you do like these, I want you to drop it down in the comments below because I would love to continue on and keep doing things like this. So we don't have this crazy eventful day planned. We are honestly just going to stay at home I am stuck here because there is something wrong with my car again, and we will get into that later in the video, but I just wanted to pop on here now. I'm in the basement just watching Wilder do some stretches. I'm doing some yoga, and Delilah is learning how to crawl. So I'm going to show you a few recipes that we like to do throughout the day. We're going to make a cake. I might have a date night, and it's just going to be a whole video filled with random little aspects of my life. So if you are into that, stay tuned, and let's get into the video. So 
All right, we are heading downstairs. Come on, Roy. Down the first flight of stairs. Into the basement. Dude, did you just throw your shoes down the stairs? Don't, why, come on. All right, so we're heading into the basement to do a workout. That's why I put a sweater on, because I'm freezing. Okay, so I like to work out with my hair down. I know that's silly, but it just makes me feel free. And I'm not gonna show you my workout, because I look ridiculous. But um, here we go. We're gonna go into the basement. Wilder likes to run around, and Deli likes to crawl around. And I will show you a glimpse into our basement. So our basement is a finished basement, but we just haven't had the funds to furnish it. So it's a little messy right now, but that is okay. We will get it done at some point in life. But yeah, I'm gonna do my workout and then we are gonna have some lunch. Close my eyes and never again. Hold you tight, call you mine. Think about you every time. I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie. You never ever All right, so we ended up getting a Instacart grocery order, which um, I'm not really a fan of doing because it's some extra money to tip the driver, and I, I believe a tip is absolutely necessary. Um, so we could not pick up our order because we have just been in this saga with my car. Turns out a rabbit about three months ago chewed through some cords and we've been back to the same shop. I believe it's been seven times now, which is like, <gasps> which is insane to me, but um, they keep fixing it and uh, then something happens to it. So we really appreciate all the work that they are doing, but we just don't know if this car is for us anymore. It is a 2013 CRV, so it's one of those cars that between the years of blah, 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 and blah, 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 when they are made, um, it was like a faulty way of making it. So my car is falling into that year, unfortunately. I've never had the best luck with cars, and I'm a relatively good driver. I'm safe. I don't, you know, hit ditches or other cars or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so we are on the hunt for a new car on a bus. Sorry, my toddler hit the lights. He can now reach them. So that's a whole new set of challenges, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so anyways, we are on the hunt for a car, a budget-friendly car, and I want one with a third row just in case we expand our family anytime soon. That's not like a hint or anything. I'm just saying it would be nice to have more room in a car, and we want a reliable one so if you love your car and you think it's reliable drop down the make and model of it because i would love to explore something that can get me from point a to point b safely all right and the workouts that i do on youtube are from mad fit and then i also have a custom workout from my sister and i will drop her youtube and instagram links below she is kind of like my personal trainer but she's in dpt school down in florida she's amazing i know you will love her she has some really great exercises for at home and in the gym and she's just a really beautiful soul so i will drop her handle below and you can find her on youtube and on instagram but my workouts are pretty custom. I did have osteochondritis desiccan in my knee, so it caused me to have surgery. I was a gymnast and a pole vaulter and a diver, and I think that really did some numbers on my knee, but uh, yeah, I continued to do those sports in high school and some in college. And then I also played tennis in college, which probably didn't help either, but I just wanted to stay active. I love those sports, so I, um, you know, continue to do it. And luckily my sister went to school for what she did because she's just been so helpful to exercise my knee without Hi, really, Hi, honey. without really injuring it anymore. And that's, I think what is key for my workout. And she also really helped me during pregnancy with certain exercises. So I just really encourage you to go check out her stuff because she has really great programs and she has really great advice and a really wonderful way of explaining things. All right, my friends, I am having a Caesar salad for lunch, air quote that. I have some spinach, romaine lettuce. I have some of the fall, yeah, it's follow your heart parm. I don't really like it, but I'm using it up. And I have some croutons that I smashed up here. 
And I have some homemade ranch with some almonds and pecans in there, pecans, whatever you wanna call them. And I have some hemp seeds. I didn't really feel like putting tomato or cucumber in it, but this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. And then I'll probably have something with rice lentils or quinoa, something filling. inside have a snack hopefully wilder will take a nap that's probably like once a week that he does that so i'm not really thinking that he will do that but that's okay i'm lucky because my husband has an early night tonight so he gets to come home <laughs> at like seven so i want to have dinner and a cute little date night and i will show you how i set that up because we do date nights at home like most of you are probably doing Now Delilah and I are inside because it got a little chilly, but um, I'm just in this room in our house where you can open the window and I just watch Wilder from here. The door is right over there, but just observing and I'm here. He really knows how to keep himself safe out there and he's exploring, so yeah. Ready? One, two, three, yeah. You got this. One, two. Mommy help? Mm -hmm. Come on in. Okay, you ready? Oh, that's cake. Ready? Two hands. Mm -hmm. Two hands. Put it in there. Good job. Wow. Good job. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on. Hold on there, Bubba. And this is? Yep, hold on. Hold on. This is? All right. Okay, right. so we're going to pour in this. Into the cake mix. Are you gonna stir it? A little at a time. Stir, give it a stir. Spoon in. Good job. Okay. Good job. Can you say cake? Cake. Can mommy help? Just a little. Good job. Can you say hi? Hi. A cake. No, that's a bean. A bean. A bean. A dada. Yeah, daddy's cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What I have on my plate right now is, or on my sheet pan, is some, hmm, I'll just pick them up. Some ahi tuna and some salmon. This is the frozen wild caught from Walmart that I always talk about. I have some carrots, Brussels sprouts, and onions. And then I have some fresh dill. I'm gonna put that on top of my salmon. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put this on the salmon? Can you put this on the salmon? Put it on the salmon. Good job. And now this one? 
Wow. Now this one. Good job. Now this one. Mm -hmm. All good. Well done. All done. All done. Okay, and now we are going to put salt and pepper on everything. Uh huh. Go ahead. Oh, goodness. Good job. A little more. Good job. A little more. Okay, a little more. Okay, one big one. Do it on the salmon. Good job. <coughs> oh, goodness. Did it make you sneeze in your nose? Okay, now salt. Let me put some in my hand. <coughs> okay, just a little pinch. Watch. So pepper and salt to taste. I suggest garlic. Husband's not a fan, so we will not be doing garlic. Now on the salmon. Oh, I didn't put dill on the ahi just to let you know. I'm not really a fan of dill on the ahi. I personally am not eating it, but um, I just don't think the flavor complements very well. I did used to eat fish, so I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Oh, all done. All right, now some good old olive oil, and that is going on our veggies. more. Now you just get in there and massage everything together. <laughs> Leave the fish for a little bit. We're gonna put some lemon on that and some butter. Down. Down. And since I'm not eating the fish, I'm going to serve mine with some kale oh, wow, and, wow. <laughs> and brown rice. Oh, so I have some protein. Oh, mama. Hi, Lou. Right, now you want all the veggies to lay flat so they cook evenly. And I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'll be right back. I like to put some lemon juice over our veggies, on our ahi, and on our salmon. Sometimes I cook it just with the lemon on top of it, but I don't feel like doing that today, so. A lot of lemon is important. Oh, thanks. Huh? Good job. Good job. Did you say good job to yourself? Loving the positivity. Okay. All right, so now this is all going into the oven at 400 for about 18 to 20 minutes, depending on how you like your salmon. We're gonna do like a medium mid rare salmon. And ahi for me, I don't crust mine, but I, like a pink center for it, again, for my husband. So we're just gonna do 18 to 20 minutes and that seems to work for us. date night setup. Let me just put some lights on here. Thank goodness for the safe because it's kind of holding it together. And then this little sheet that we have. I have a candle and my wine. And then since we don't have a couch, here's a nice little couch. And we don't have a fireplace yet. So here's one on the TV. <laughs> All right, so here I am illuminated by the fireplace, but you could watch a movie if you wanted. You could listen to some records, which is what I would like to do. 
could have a game night if you wanted, or you could just sit and talk. And this is our little DIY date night at home. My suggestion would be to set it up somewhere where you don't normally hang out or normally sit and try and change up different aspects of that place. So like I said, we are in our basement and we we're just going to do something a little different. So I hope that helps for your DIY date night and you could totally do this whenever you wanted but Valentine's Day is coming up so that would be a good time to celebrate it. And thank you for watching this vlog. I really appreciate you sticking with me. If you are new here, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time.